teammate from the Athens Olympics, McLean Ward gets ready to take on the course aboard Sapphire. This is a big Belgium bred mare that really covers the ground. We'll find out if that ground is standing up to the punishment it's taking from these horses over the course today. Late in the goal for McLean Ward aboard Sapphire. For sure, the horses have the advantage if they're at the front end of this particular event because of the footing. The pounding as each horse has jumped um, really restricts how much latitude the riders have to get to, to find some good footing for takeoffs for the horses. I, I think I'm sensing a bit of a shadow out on the international ring right now, Linda. Could the sun possibly be coming out for the first time in days? I think it's your imagination. It, however, will do little to improve the conditions. The ground has stood up remarkably well, according to the riders. We've seen some great jumping today, and right now, Sapphire doesn't seem to be struggling at all. Big water jumper there. You can see the horses that really jump over the water um, with a lot of power. The riders don't have to ride them as hard. So um, making the distances in between before and after the water uh, becomes a little bit easier for the, for the athletes. McLean Ward, such a quiet rider. Very little movement in his hands compared to some of those we've seen earlier today. Four fences left, working on a clear round. That mare really reaching through the triple combination and over the final fence for a clear round. The United States advances with another to the jump off. McLean Ward and Sapphire. Very little problem on course. A well-ridden ride by McLean and his horse responded beautifully. You can see the poise that McLean has through the triple combination and the tucking of his great liver chestnut mare. McLean Ward and Sapphire advanced to the next round. BZ Madden was not so lucky. She had a stumble coming off the vertical and that cost her a ticket. Well, he jumped